Hello, everybody. My name is Tavin Boynton. I'm the Director of Web Strategy over here at Zenata Consulting. And today I'm going to be going over how to integrate Zoho Sales IQ onto your WordPress website. All right, to get started, I wanted to go into detail about what is Zoho Sales IQ. So Zoho Sales IQ is a tool to track your live user data on your website. They also have a chat feature, which a lot of our clients find really useful so they can have their support team messaging customers and helping customers navigate the website in real time. Now, if you do not have um, a big enough team to provide this sort of live support, Zoho also offers Zobots, which are bots that you can automate a lot of common questions to help your users out so they don't have to contact you every single time. But what you can also do is you can integrate it with Zoho Desk so that tickets that are not resolved with the Zobot will be moved over to your Zoho Desk where your support team can respond to them in a more traditional fashion. Now, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to integrate the Zoho Sales IQ uh, embed on your WordPress website, and then how to do some light customization of the little chat widget. So here I have two windows open. The first is the backend on the WordPress website, and then the second one is Zoho Sales IQ. Now to get there, you can either start from your CRM or you can go to salesiq.zoho.com. So first I'm gonna go into my WordPress website and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be installing the Zoho Sales IQ WordPress plugin. So here I'm gonna to go to plugins, add new. I'm gonna search Zoho Sales IQ. All right, here you see it's the first one here. So we're gonna install. and activate. Now, once it's activated, you'll see it'll appear here on the left-hand sidebar. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my other tab of Zoho Sales IQ. Um, it's a fresh install, so this is what it looks like when it hasn't been set up before. I'm gonna hide notifications. Here, I'm gonna go up on the top right to the settings icon. Here under personalize, I'm going to go to websites and then click into it. Here I'm going to click installation and then click website. Now I'm gonna copy this code and then into the WordPress backend, I'm going to copy this code. Now I'm gonna um, uncheck this so it is not hidden by default. And I'm gonna show you how this looks and then what you gain by hiding it as well. So now that I have pasted in the code snippet, I'm going to save changes on WordPress. And then on the WordPress front end, if I refresh, you will be able to see um, it shows we're offline. I said do not track. There we go. So it'll say we're offline, and you see the sales IQ has already um, integrated onto the website. And if you click it, you can leave a message for the company here. All right, now to go back out, I'm gonna click on the X here, and I'm gonna go back into brands or websites. I'm gonna click into it, and I'm gonna to go to personalization. So this is where you can actually change a lot of the look and feel of the Zoho Sales IQ um, chat widget. A lot of clients um, never knew that this was possible, so they're often, um, happy to know that you can change the colors and the message that gets displayed. So for example, you can change it to this one, which is called Twinkle, which is sort of silly. And then if we go back to the front end, within a few seconds, you'll see it's already updated. This is a way to have the widget match more of your brand. Um, now I'm gonna go back to the original one. I'm gonna save it and you can actually, the custom sticker here, you can actually change it to be your brand logo or another image if you prefer. Um, so here you see it says offline. So I'm gonna change the message here. I'm gonna say, we aren't around. Let's do it real, a little more professional. 
leave a message. Maybe please leave us a message. Here you can change it to any of these five default colors, or you can click this one here to add in your own brand color. And if you want to use a hexadecimal code, you can click the arrows here twice, and then it will display a hexadecimal code. So for example, if you want to make it maybe orange, um, you could find your exact orange, click out of it, and then save. And you'll see by refreshing, it's already pushed the changes live to the front end of your website. If you go up here to the top, you can change um, it to be a button instead and change the same um, sort of look and feel there. Over here on appearance, if you go down to appearance here, you can change the look of the window once it's expanded. Again, we can pick our brand color here. We can change the size of the window. You can really display a lot of different information, such as your company logo here, a custom message. You can let your visitors print the chat transcript. You can really do a lot here. All right, so we're going to save it now. And now when we refresh, you'll see it has this custom look and feel that we were going for. Now I'm going to show you how to view your live visitor activity on Zoho Sales IQ. So exiting out of all of this um, and exiting out of this, you'll see now I have one lone visitor appearing and it should be San Diego. There we are. So this is me looking at this website and you can see that I can see my live visitor activity. And if this was someone that was already in your CRM or had previously viewed your website, you will be able to see their past behavior here as well as any links that they clicked on there. So it's really a way to uh, get more valuable insights of the people that are looking at your website. Now, a lot of our clients don't have the bandwidth on their team to offer a live support function, so they want to disable this. So to do that, you can do that on your WordPress backend. So this is not done on the Zoho Sales IQ end, but on the WordPress backend. So um, again, if we go to the Zoho Sales IQ plugin, we can simply click Hide Chat Widget and save it. And now on the front end, you will see um, the widget no longer appears. You're still getting this live visitor activity, as you can see here. So that completes our tutorial on Zoho Sales IQ. Hope you enjoyed the video. Today we looked at how to track your live visitor activity using Zoho Sales IQ, how to install it on your WordPress website, and how to customize the look and feel to help it match your brand. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell to make sure you always get our fresh content. Talk to you soon.